Hello and welcome to Cisco ASA Training 101. My name is Don Crawley. I'm from SoundTraining.net. We're the Seattle, Washington-based publisher of learning resources and provider of accelerated training for IT pros. This time we're doing updating software from Cisco.com. It's based on Chapter 2 in my book, The Accidental Administrator, Cisco ASA Security Appliance. We're using ASA software version 8.3, and we're going to upgrade it to 9.0, and ASDM version 6.35, which we're going to upgrade to 7.02. Although the procedures that we're going to show you are very similar regardless of the, the versions. As long as they're fairly recent versions, it, it should work and be very similar. Some of the labels might be slightly different, but fundamentally it'll be the same thing. Here are the prerequisites. In order to do this lesson, you should have the following. Unrestricted privilege mode access to a Cisco ASA security appliance. A Cisco connection online, a CCO account associated with a Cisco support contract for an ASA security appliance. That allows you to connect to the Cisco website and download the software. And you'll need one Cisco ASA security appliance. I used a, uh, an ASA model 5505, but the procedures are basically the same for any of the Cisco ASA uh, uh, line of security appliances. Uh, also, a computer for your management workstation and an Internet connection. Here's the network diagram that we're using. It's pretty simple, as you can see. We've got the inside interface configured for 192.168.102.1 with a 24-bit subnet mask. If you're using something different, then you'll just need to make a note of that and, and change some of the commands, but you should still be able to follow along. And I've got the outside configured for DHCP, and that's connected directly to the global Internet. Here's the disclaimer. This video is provided solely as a courtesy to you, our viewer. No guarantees whatsoever. Please don't attempt these procedures on a production firewall without first testing them for security and suitability in a lab environment. And performing these procedures may open your firewall to the public Internet and subject your network to attack. So make sure you have current backups and take precautions, including data encryption and additional access controls to protect sensitive data. And that's just good advice in general. Now, the first thing we need to do is make sure that our ASA is configured to accept an HTTP connection. It's a little deceptive because the command that we're going to use is HTTP, and yet the the connection is done through secure HTTP, so don't let that throw you off. Let's go into global configuration mode with the abbreviation for configure terminal, conf space T, and now we're going to issue the command HTTP space, and we're going to put in the um, the subnet ID of the inside subnet where we're going to connect. So that's 192.168.102.0 with a 24-bit mask of 255.255.255.0 and we're going to specify the inside interface or the inside subnet. If you don't understand the IP address and the subnet mask the way I just described it, you may want to take a look at our video on understanding IP addresses before you do the rest of this one. We'll go ahead and hit enter to accept it and now we're ready to go. So we've got a browser open. The one I'm using is Internet Explorer, but you should be able to use any of them. Uh, it does seem to work better with Internet Explorer, but uh, again, I've used it successfully with Firefox and Chrome. And we're going to put in the IP address of the security appliance on the inside interface. One thing that does seem to trip students up is that you have to use uh, secure HTTP. So we'll type in HTTPS colon whack whack 192.168.102.1. And it should throw off a security warning, which it does. We'll go ahead and click on Continue to this website. And you may get a request to uh, install Java or something like that, but uh, ultimately you'll end up with a screen that looks like this. So we'll go ahead and click on Run ASDM. And again, you may get some warnings or some requests to verify things uh, over the next uh, few seconds, but ultimately um, it will launch the ASDM. and. Um, in this particular case, I've got a clean install, so I don't have a username and password set up, but maybe you do on yours. You'll have to enter that and click OK. And it'll whir for a moment, as you can see, and then ultimately it will open the Cisco Adaptive Security Device Manager, the ASDM, uh, in a separate window, and then we can go and do the update from that window. So now it's loading the current configuration from the device. This will take just a second. It's done. And we'll resize the window just to bring everything down into your view. And now all we have to do to update the software is we'll go over and click on Tools. And we're going to come down and choose Check for ASA ASDM Updates. Now, 
depending on which version of the ASDM you have, you may have something slightly different, but it may say update from Cisco.com or something, but you'll be able to see, and it will be under the tools menu. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And it's asking for the Cisco connection online, the CCO login information. So I'll go ahead and put mine in. Takes a moment to load the upgrade wizard, as you can see. I want you to notice while we're waiting that the current version of the ASA, as you can see in the background, is 8.32, and the ASDM version is 6.35, and those are the versions that we're going to upgrade. So here's the upgrade wizard. We'll go ahead and click on Next, and now we can see which versions are available. So we'll choose to upgrade the ASA software to version 9. That's an early deployment. That's what ED stands for, and they want that for new features or bug fixes. And we'll take the ASDM up to 7.0.2. So we'll go ahead and click Next. And it gives you a summary of what it's about to do. You'll notice that it's going to download the software. It will set the ASA 9.0.1 as the boot image and do the same thing with the ASDM. It'll set that as the device manager image and uh, it'll do that all automatically for you as part of this process. We'll click on Next and it's going through the process now and we'll check back with it in a moment when it's done. Now as you can see it's finished the process. Obviously we did a little editing so you didn't have to watch the whole thing but as you can see it's done. We'll click Next and you'll notice that it gives us an option to save the configuration and reload the device now. We'll go ahead and let it do that by clicking Finish. It's delivering the commands to the device. And now it's shutting it down and reloading it. And when it comes back, we'll be running the new version of the software and the new version of the ASDM. So we'll go ahead and do an edit here and then come back and take a look at what it's running. So we've been through the reboot process and I've gone back to the security appliance in my browser. As you can see, it's prompting me for logon information. We'll go ahead and click OK since I don't have username and password configured on this test device. And it's loading the cache software. In a moment, you'll see the ASDM come up. And we should see that we're running version uh, 9 of the software and version 7 of the ASDM. So there is our ASDM, and as you can see looking up at the top, it is indeed ASDM version 7.0, and, and take a look down below, and there you'll see that it's running version 9.01 of the ASA software. So it's pretty simple to update the software, both the Cisco ASA software and the ASDM software, by connecting to Cisco.com, assuming that you have a Cisco connection online and a support contract that gives you the entitlement to uh, download the software. If you'd like more information, visit our website at www.soundtraining.net. I blog at soundtraining.net slash blog. You can follow us on Google+, Facebook, and Twitter. And if you'd like more videos, check out our video channel at www.soundtraining.net slash videos. If you'd like the companion book, I'd love for you to have a copy. It's available at the soundtraining.net bookstore, www.soundtraining.net slash bookstore. Well, I hope it's been helpful. For soundtraining.net, I'm Don Crawley, and I'll see you next time.